So we'll have that running. Y bienvenidos. Espero que ustedes estén bien. Um, uh, I, I just found out last night that I think registration for summer happens on this coming Monday. The I, 26th? I, 26th. So it'll be yeah, 8, 8 a.m. 8 a.m. Mm -hmm. the 26th. So I, that, that kind of came upon me all of a sudden because I hadn't had any emails about it. And they've got a little bit of changing guard. They have some new people coming on board. So I'm sure that's why I didn't get a, well, I'm pretty sure that's why I didn't get a, a an email yet. But 26 will be uh, sign up time for summer session for, for all the classes that you might be interested in um, so that you know. Because um, I don't know, you might have some things that have, you know, class li limits on class sizes. So if that is the case, make sure you get that set up for Monday morning. Um, Okay, muy bien. Vamos a empezar. Y gracias a, a muchísimas gracias a, a Janet porque uh, el artículo que me enviaste es, es de otra perspectiva de, del artículo que encontré. Y entonces, uh, you know, they're, they're complementary pieces of information. They, they come from different, different, um, tackle different sides of the same story. So you, you were kind of on the same wavelength with me. Uh, uh, Janet sent me a very good article, which we'll, we'll take a look at today. Uh, I kind of knew things were going to be in flux this week for planning for this because I was watching the news and I said, things are going to change. I better not have really concrete set plans because things are going to change. And yeah, some stuff's been happening. So we have lots of news. Tenemos noticias de Cuba y cosas que, que podemos, uh, que podemos investigar y, y uh, vamos a saber cosas nuevas de, de lo que va a ocurrir y está ocurriendo ahora en, en Cuba. Pero primero, primero vamos a practicar un poquito más el subjuntivo. We are going to do a little bit of practice with subjunctive, past subjunctive first. Uh, we're going to, uh, and, and I am going to send you out to do some smaller group work with that into a breakout room session. And then we're going to have a little news clip to do for some listening comprehension. It's just pretty short. There was a long one, but it was 14 minutes. It was getting a little long in the tooth. And um, especially when it's communist speeches. <laughs> 10 minutes of communist speeches gets really, really, really long. You know, so yeah. Uh, so I decided we were gonna go with the short one. So we've got a short video to listen to. And then we've got some articles to talk about with the changes that are happening in Cuba. And uh, actually, the two articles that we've got to take a look at really cover different sides. And I've got some, some things that um, I will propose for discussion topics for next week because it really got me to thinking about things. So, okay. Ha. Entonces, vamos a empezar. Vamos a empezar simplemente con algo fácil, un, un ejercicio fácil uh, con formas del subjuntivo nada más. Y entonces, ustedes van a practicar de manera más, más, de manera más obvia, de manera más personal, uh, cómo se usa eh, este el... Uh, su cultivo del pasado en conversación. Pero primero vamos con lo básico, lo básico de very basic. Uh, uh, vamos a solamente cambiar uh, a la forma y nada de ese. We're not using any of these ese forms because that is not a conversational thing in this hemisphere. Okay. Era importante que tú. Hmm. Uh. Estudiaras. Estudiaras. Es importante, o oh, era, perdón, no es, es, era. Es importante que era. Era importante que tú estudiaras uh, todos los días. ¿Y por qué? Porque, we're, so we're looking at some of these weirdo, the trigger element. And the fact that the verbs in the trigger, the weirdo, 
element <laughs> in, in that past camp. So we've got uh, weirdo standing for uh, wishes and wants, impersonal phrases. No, I'm sorry, I'm just spelling weirdo wrong. Wishes and wants, verbs of emotion, uh, impersonal phrases, uh, recommendations, doubt, and ojalá. And so here we've got era importante with the impersonal phrase. It's, it was important. And this era is in the past camp. It's an imperfecto. So that's why we need estudiadas. Vale, bueno. Fue una lastima. It was a real shame. And that's an impersonal expression again. Um, Oh, hmm. I would have used a different verb with this, but hey, we're using a bad. Hubiera. What? Is what? what si. que, Why not bring it? And, and really, I wouldn't put L with this. Fue, uh, fue una lastima que hubiera tan pocas respuestas correctas. Uh, I don't know why they put, oh, I think I know why they put L, because they want you to understand that it's a singular thing. Uh, this is not literally el he. Uh, he had so few correct responses would really not use haber. Haber is used in an impersonal sense that there wouldn't, were. Wouldn't they be, I, I would use tener here. I could be wrong. If, if you, yes. Lo mismo, si, estoy de acuerdo. I am in agreement with you. If this really were, I think they put this with el to give you the idea that this always goes into a singular form. Because really, uh, he would say, el tuviera, he had so few correct responses. Mm -hmm. But they wanted to use haber, they wanted to keep it, it yeah. you know, it's a singular thing. Uh, haber, haber, when it talks about there is, there was, there might have been. Uh, that's why they did that. Yeah, that's why they did that, because they wanted you to get the idea that it's singular, but they didn't really, I think, they didn't really intend for you to think of él as a human being because we don't really, we wouldn't use it that way. Okay. La mujer querría que los niños jugaran. Jugaran. Uh, the woman wanted the kids to play outside. And we've got a verb of wanting, querría in imperfecto, and that's why that has to be jugara a past subjunctive. Uh, okay, we've got another impersonal expression. Era necesario que? There's the start. Tuviera. Tuviéramos. Tuviéramos. Oh, y perdón, <laughs> perdón, momentito. I need my keyboard and I have to move everything over to get the keyboard up. Aquí, okay. Uh, que to be, uy, uh, otra vez. Tu, ay, I have to do the whole word. No me permite hacer nada. Tuviéramos. It's still not. Todavía no. ¿Qué pasó? ¿Qué pasó? Oh, todavía está en inglés. It's still stuck on English. Okay. Momentito. Ah, tuviéramos. Uh, it was necessary that we have, that we had, that we had all of our passports. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, vale. Uh, oh, and now we've got uh, the hypothetical. Tuviera. If I were in good health, I would work mm -hmm. and I would buy a house. So we've got the C combined with the condicional, which is what you worked on last week. Si yo. Tuviera. Tuviera, si tuviera. If I had good health, I would work and I would buy a house. Uh, preferiría, uh, I would prefer, I would prefer that we eat at seven. Sí, comiéramos. 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 And, uh, oh, perdón. Oh, that's because I uh, didn't put my ah in there. Comiéramos. It doesn't like that. Uh, and even though, uh, and the hard thing with that is that conditional, we don't really think of as, you know, I, I would prefer, but 
conditional tense goes in the past idea camp, okay? So, uh, la camarera recomendó, the waitress recommended, okay? <coughs> Pidiéramos. Pidieron, o pidieran, que pidieran el vino chileno. Uh, she recommended that they order the Chilean wine, said something else. Nos recomendaron que saliéramos. Saliéramos, saliéramos lo menos posible. Uh, they recommended to us that we do this. We go out the least amount possible. Uh, Silvia quería, Silvia wanted her kids. Silvia quería que, los, uh, que sus hijos, hijos pensaran, pensaran uh, de forma positiva, inconstructiva. <laughs> yeah, sí. uh, buena suerte. Good luck with that. Julio deseaba que yo... Ah, Julio wanted me to bring the drinks. Traería. Uh, Esto es no, difícil. No. Traer, traer. Traer. Ah, 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 trajera, trajera, que yo trajera. This is a really hard one because traer, and we have to go back to the preterito to get the right base form before we form the preterite, uh, or the, excuse me, the past subjunctive. So we use the preterite of uh, traer, which is one of those really oddball ones, right? Traje, trajiste, trajimos, trajen. So we get to trajera. Uh, oh, oh, if, if I were to lose, I would cry. <laughs> if I were to lose you, <laughs> if I were to Pierron, lose you, I would cry. Si yo te perdiera, si yo te perdiera, if I were to lose you, lloraría, I would cry. Uh, ojalá que, ojalá que, uh, Ha! Ojalá que. Nevada. <laughs> Nevada. Uh, wow. Wow. Nieve en julio en Florida. Imposible. Uh, <laughs> Victor insistió que Chela. Insistió is a uh, one of those wishes or recommendation things if you insist you can insist all you like but it doesn't mean it's going to happen right so victor insistió que chela y yo no victor insisted that we not smoke at all uh, andres uh, prefería que la casa tuviera tuviera yeah. Uh, Andres preferred that the house have three bedrooms areas. Ojalá la casa fuera fuera más grande fuera. Uh, yeah, hopefully the house would be bigger. Fue asombroso. It was surprising. Uh, ooh, oh, 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 oh no. que pensar. I gotta even think about this one. Uh, I don't know. No, I don't know. I I don't I have money. Tuviera. 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 And tuviera should be one of those words you can really like literally pull it out of your back pocket. Tuviera, tuviera, fuera, uh, um, estuviera should be some of those that you can really just pull out of a back pocket and use. Um, uh, if, if I had more money, I would oh, buy him or buy her a new car. Uh, no fue posible, and we've got an impersonal construction no, no. here in past. Preferido. Viniera. 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 Uh, it was not possible for Jose to come to the meeting. Uh, Luis dudaba que, and we've got one of those verbs of doubt, which, you know, that's not 
one we're all comfortable with using, and that's not one we're going to practice tonight. Mm -hmm. But uh, it, people do use it. I think there are other things you will use as a visitor more frequently. Luis, Luis dudaba que sus amigos vinieran. 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 Excelente. Sí. Uh, siempre dudaste que tu hija. Oh, wow. You yeah. always doubt that your daughter pudiera. Yeah. And pudiera is not another one of those words that nice to pull it just out of the back of your pocket and be able to use pudiera. <coughs> uh, and quisiera, of course, too. El médico me recomendó que me... Viera. Yeah. Viera. Que me viera una mm -hmm. especialista. That a specialist would see me. And the viera is conjugated for the especialista, not for yo that a specialist would see me. Uh, uh, deseaba es que, ooh, oh, no, no es tan difícil. This is not that bad. They're using, they're throwing us a vosotros, but that volver will not go into dos, uh, vosotros. We wanted the good days, to, you know, the lucky days, the good days to come back. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. One of the good old days to come back. It's that idea. Bien. Uh, y quizás dos más, two more. Uh, te aconsejé que... Oh, I advise you to break up with that loser. Yeah, there we go. Rompiera. Uh, rompieras con tu novio. Yeah, break it off with that guy. Uh, Violeta se puso... El, o imperme, ¿Qué es impermeable? El umbrella. Uh, you're almost, you're oh, no, 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 no. Es un abrigo. Sí, yeah, sí. it's a coat. It's a raincoat. Yeah, <laughs> you've got the right idea, though, with the umbrella <laughs> idea. Impermeable is what you wear when it rains. Uh, when it rains, it is a raincoat. Violeta se puso el, el impermeable en caso, oh, oh en caso yeah. de que, en case you that it that. might. You vería. Okay, we're, we're up to a good 24. I will leave you the links. You can kind of quiz yourself with the rest. We don't need to do the whole 40, but you may want to test yourselves. Uh, and if you get the fat finger and forget your, your vowels, like I did with my little pinky vowel there, it'll ding you. So, okay. Hey, hey Marilyn, let me ask you, is it is uh -huh. it only in the we form that you would see the accent put in on, on those uh, on those verbs? It, it, yeah, in which form? Okay. I'm sorry, on which the, form? On the, no, on the no socials form, is that the only place where you would have to have an accent? That's the only one where you get an accent, right. The only right. form that will get an accent. And the interesting thing about just the straight out formation of this tense is that there are literally zero irregulars. It is the only tense that I can think of that has no irregulars, even though it really is. But see, all the irregulars come from the preterite base. Mm -hmm. But in terms of the way it's formed, they all follow that rule. And because they take the oddball preterite, it feels really irregular. But technically, there are no irregulars because it always follows the rule, and there are no rule breakers in that in that in that tense of that mood. I should say, yeah, it's complicado. Okay, uh, so I will leave that. I am going to. Uh, we're going to split this into two mini sessions, and we're going to take various various triggers for subjunctive. <laughs> And they're all going to be past camp, not in the present tense verbs, but in the past idea verbs. So they'll all be in uh, either imperfecto, pretérito, condicional, or it'll be that, um, you know, see hypothetical. I think I only have one of those in there because we did a whole session on that. Entonces, vamos a practicar con tres ideas. We're going to practice with three ideas. And these will be things where you need to come up with absolutely brand new ideas. You need to finish the idea. Uh, you'll need to finish the idea. Van a trabajar con números uno, dos y tres. Lo, los primeros tres, ¿sí? 
a key. Uh, so you're going to finish these ideas. You'll want to jot these down because sadly I cannot do a share and send you into breakout rooms. So you'll want to just jot this down, you know. Uh, you're going to finish the sentences and it, there's going to be an underlined verb and that's the trigger verb. Okay, that's the trigger. It doesn't mean that the verb you're going to fill in will be in that form at all. You're going to need a past subjunctive with each one of these. Okay. Queríamos uh, que nuestros hijos, we wanted our kids, I don't know, to do something. Yo preferiría, I would prefer. I would, and this is a hard one because condicional. I would prefer that my neighbor do something. Uh, le sugerí, sugerir is to suggest. Yes, le sugerí a uh, mi mejor amigo que I, I, I suggested to my friend that, my best friend, that he or she do something, right? It could be amigo, mi mejor amigo, mi mejor amiga, no importa. Bien, you're going to work just those first three. I think I'm going to give you, well, you cinco minutos. Son suficientes, cinco minutos. Creo que sí, pero no estoy segura. Son suficientes, cinco minutos. Sí. Porque tienen que inventar un, un escenario. You need to, you know, create. And there are many, many, many possibilities. Hay muchas posibilidades. Okay. A ver, a ver, y un, moni, un, un momento más uh, para practicar. But, you know, we often talk about what we wanted people to do, what we wished someone would do. You know, those are things that are kind of common in everyday conversations. So I want to give you things that would be sort of believable with that kind of scenario. Okay. Bueno, vamos a ver. Ay, somos, ay, creo que quizás solamente dos uh, cuartos. I think we only need two rooms. I'm going to give you five minutes. We'll come back and gather some ideas. You will hit, need to hit a join button as of now to get into your rooms. There should be a little join button. I don't know what color it comes up in, but it should come up.
Ah, muy bien. Aquí bien, uh, esperamos a tres más. Ah, aquí vienen, aquí vienen, aquí vienen todos. Ok. ¿Dónde están? Ah, aquí vienen. Here they come. A veces tenemos que esperar a los dioses del internet. Sometimes we gotta wait, wait for the internet gods. <laughs> Everything works. Es, es como... Es mi modo de pensar porque, porque así es. Sí, hay, hay esta cosa de... Ay, uh, ¿cómo se dice? Sí, a... Um, Mm, no, como duendes, they're like, uh, we would call them gremlins, but in Spanish we call them duendes, you know, little things that scupper around in the internet. Okay, uh, bueno, vamos a, vamos a expresar ideas uh, y voy a, voy a compartir otra vez la pantalla con las expresiones originales aquí que, que, que tenemos a uh, Queríamos que nuestros hijos unas ideas. Queríamos que nuestros hijos. We wanted our kids. Jugarán juntos. Ah, perdón. Jugarán jun juntos. Ah, jug ah, muy bien, muy bien. Ah, jugarán juntos. Jugar We wanted them to play together. Muy normal. Uh, jugarán juntos. Excelente. Buen, buena idea. Right? Me gusta mucho. Uh, otra idea. Oh, uh, Jen, I think it mutes you when you come back out. So you'll have to mm -hmm. unmute yourself. Okay. Nos uh, visitarán. Ah, nos visitarán. We wanted our kids to visit us. Que nos visitaran, and then nos just saying who's receiving the visiting, right? Que nos, and we've got this Microsoft thing going, and it capitalizes everything. Que nos visitaran, que nos visitaran. Bueno, otra idea. Fumarían menos. Ah, que, uh, otra vez con el verbo, Jim. Uh, smoke, fumar. Oh, fum, ah. And we have the bad kids. Fumaran menos. Oh, sí, esto con los... Cigarrillos uh, electrónicos, ¿no? Hoy, a ver, o, oh, o, oh. otra Dog cosa, sí, up. siempre, cada, cada vez que estoy manejando y, y veo una cantidad de humo, una sí. cantidad enorme de humo yeah. que sale de la ventanilla del carro, you know, when you see like a huge cloud of smoke, <laughs> That's, I mean, it's not the pop thing, it's the e-cigarette thing. No, the e-cigarette. No, el vapor. Es el, vapor. Es vapor. Mm -hmm. Yeah, El vapor. Y yeah, en, en, en muchos trabajos, en muchas oficinas, todavía no se permiten que, que fumen. Uh, hoy en día, aunque, aunque es un cigarrillo electrónico, no se permite con frecuencia. Uh, buena idea. Bueno, bueno, otra cosa. Uh, que comieran uh, la cena. Ah, uh, comieran la cena. A veces es una lucha. Sometimes that's a spite. Sí. <laughs> Así es. Siempre fue así con mis sobrinos. Mis sobrinos no querían comer nada, nada normal. Y ahora son vegetarianos. Son vegetarianos. Y siempre comen comida muy, muy, muy sana. Uh, muy sana. Comida muy sana. Uh, comida orgánica todo el tiempo. Pero cuando, cuando eran muy niños, solamente querían comer McDonald's y nada más. McDonald's, nada más. Ahora, oh, solamente, solamente co uh, comemos comida natural, comida orgánica. Ay, qué, <laughs> qué cambio, what a change. Ok, otras ideas. Queríamos que nuestros hijos, algo más, se graduaran. 
Con, con, em, con un empleo. <laughs> sí, así. Ok, bueno, yo preferiría, I would prefer that my neighbor, and boy, I've got one for this. Ok. ¿Y si pintaría su casa uh, blanca? Oh, pi, pintaría, uh, o oh, pi, oh, pintara, pintara su casa. Pintara, no pintaría. No, pintara. I would prefer that he paint his house white. Now I'm going to so say something I, silly. Why wouldn't I say it? I I would I I, I would prefer that my neighbor would paint his house white. Yes, but in order to do that, we need that past subjunctive there. I would prefer because I okay. Uh, el motivo, the reason, el motivo. The reason is I am imposing my will, my, my will, will, or I was more accurately, I was imposing my will upon him. And uh, that cannot go into conditional for the vecino part because uh, at that time I, I may have wished he not paint his house pink or purple or, you know, lo que sea. Uh, but I, you know, did not have control over that. I was trying to impose my will. Pintara su casa uh, blanco. de blanco. Oh, blanco. No, blanco. Ah, bien. Sí. Uh, a ver. Okay. Uh, 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 uh. En, 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 mi, en mi barrio, en mi barrio, um, ay, 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 frente a mi casa, hay, hay un vecino, es mejor. Es mejor que, que, que era. He's better than he used to be. Pero, bueno, su trabajo es reparar carros. Uh, repara los sistemas de, de sonido de los carros. He repairs sound systems. Entonces, yo preferiría que mi vecino uh, no pusiera la música del carro tan fuerte. Mm -hmm. I wish he didn't crank up the volume. <laughs> when my children feel the, feel the walls of the house <laughs> vibrating. <laughs> This is very bad. <laughs> es mejor. Es mejor que, que era. He was, he's, he's better now than he used to be. Okay, otras ideas. Yo preferi, preferiría que mi vecino no estacionar el carro en frente de mi camino de acceso. A estacionar a su carro en frente, en frente de mi, mi perdón. My, my driveway, mi oh. camino de acceso. Camino de acceso, sí. Sí, sí, sí. Ay, sí. Uh, bien, sí. Estacionar to park. To park. Uh, ok, bueno. Eh, muy normal. ¿Qué más? ¿Hay, hay otra idea? ¿O no? ¿No? Ok, tres. Le sugerí a mi amigo... A, a mi mejor amigo o a mi mejor amiga que que ella recibiera la vacuna. Ah, que recibiera la vacuna. Sí. Lo antes posible. <risa> Lo antes posible. Ok, bueno, ¿qué más? Dejaría a esa mujer. Que otra vez el verbo, Jim, perdón. Uh, dejaría. Oh. To drop. Dejaría. Oh, de, que dejara, that she would let. Mm -hmm. Y per, perdón. Soy torpe. I'm a little bit slow with this. Que dejara. Oh, 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 dejara. She would leave. Yeah, leave her. En punto, nada más. Drop her. Yeah, Ay, cool. Oh, uh, oh, uh, oh, uh, uh, okay. O oh, se mudara. She would move. Uh -huh. Ah. Ah. Uh, <laughs> que dejara de hablar. That she would stop. 
she would stop talking. Ah, uh, easy. <laughs> uh, muchas cosas que, que se mudara del barrio. That she'd move out of the neighborhood. Uh, a veces. Eso es difícil, no? Uh, so, did you mean uh, se, se mudara or su mudara? You've got SU there. Oh, su, su. Gracias. I got my fat finger going there. Si. Gracias. Si, 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 Roy. Tienes razón. Se mudara. Se mudara. Exacto. Gracias. Bueno, otra cosa. Oh, okay. We're going to go into three new ideas. Tres, y, uh, tue, tres nuevas ideas. Uh, y tendrán que copiar un poquito. Si mi jefe insistió en que todos. My boss insisted that everybody. Porque siempre hay un jefe. Pues, con todos los jefes es así. Uh, mi familia me pidió que yo. My family asked me to do something. Um, Oh, this one is a condition. Actually, this one, you will have to submit a conditional, not a subjunctive. There would be fewer problems if, ooh, there would be fewer problems if hubiera menos problemas si. And, and this is the sole one where I've actually given you uh, the subjunctive and you need to give me a conditional and remember that the conditional is going to need the full infinitive okay and the endings are going to look like ia endings like you use for imperfecto ia 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 because they repeat from the yo and the el a usted iamos Ian, you're not going to use eis, okay? So uh, they'll use the full infinitive. We won't take off the ar, the er, the ir, but you'll have to give the conditional end of it because that is where the inventive part comes. Uh, bueno, okay. Tres nuevas ideas que ustedes van a practicar. Uh, Y bueno, ah. Oh.